Good afternoon, fellow notaries. How are you all up, up there? Well, I'm here at my favorite campground in the serenity of quietness, birch chirping, and listening to coyotes crying at night. But in any case, just a little getaway for us. Sanika Prabhu asked us or asked me to come on and explain to you, hey, what happens when I look at the identification of a signer and his name does not match the name on the documents. So in other words, if I were to present my ID and my ID says Martin Anthony Renteria, but the document that I'm signing does not say Martin Anthony Renteria, but it could say Martin Renteria, Anthony Renteria, Martin Anthony. What do you do then? Well, Essentially, you still have to positively identify your signer. So, if you look at my ID and you say, yes, that's Martin Anthony Renteria, the photograph looks the same, you have me sign, the signature looks the same, well, you've essentially positively identified me. But if my name on that document that I'm signing does not say Martin Anthony Renteria, sorry folks, but our responsibility does not extend to the document. It only extends to the signer. So, whatever the document name says, if they claim that they are the same person on that document, if they acknowledge that, then that's all you can do. They are acknowledging that the person you identified on that ID is the person that is signing the document regardless of the name on that document. Now, the Sec Secretary of State has said that the individual signing the document may sign in whatever name, in whatever manner that he or she may choose. So the name or manner of signing used by the signer is not your responsibility. Your responsibility is to make sure that the information contained in your certificate is accurate. And that's the extent of our responsibility, to make sure that the information in our certificate is accurate, to make sure that we have positively identified our signer. And that goes according to what is on the actual ID, not as what is on the document. Because for all intents and purposes, it's none of our business what's on that document. All we have to do is sign. Now, the second point I talked to you about the first point already. Second point, when it comes to loan closings, right? We're always been instructed for the signer to sign his name exactly as they appear on the documents. Well, if that's the instruction, then that's what you have to instruct your signer or your borrower. And what you do is you're still following state law. You're positively identifying the signer based on the ID that you're provided, and that's the extent of your responsibility. If the document name is something far different than what's on the ID, then that person has to sign in that method for loan closings only, because that's your instruction as a signing agent. A lot of folks have been asking, well, I've got a general notary, I've got a power of attorney, what do I charge for power of attorney? I've got a simple deed, what do I charge for a simple deed? I've got a last will and testament, what do I charge for a last will and testament? Folks, we do not charge by the type of document. We never ever charge by the type of document. We charge by signature. $6 for the first signature, $1 for additional signature on the same document. So whatever document you have, the question is not to ask what I charge for a specific type of document, but you gotta ask your borrowers, how many signers are there gonna be? And how many documents are there gonna be? So if your signer print tells you that, well, there's gonna be two of us signing, you ask, okay, well, how many documents will need to be notarized? And if your signers say, well, I've got two documents to be notarized, well, that's 
two signatures per document. Seven times two is 14. You can only charge up to $14 plus whatever you want to charge for travel. Oh, and convenience fees, that's a no-no. There's no such thing as convenience fees for us. It's illegal. Don't do it. Otherwise, you could be guilty of uh, excessive fees. And that's a no, <clears throat> that's a big no with the Secretary of State. Well, I hope this was uh, educational. And let me know if you want to see more. Have a good day.